is Paulie and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to touch on a pretty contentious subject. One that's almost become of theological proportions. Does wood affect electric guitar tone? You have two groups, well actually you have three groups. You have the group that says yes it does, you have the group that says no it doesn't and then you've got a whole bunch of other people in the middle who really don't give it. So this video is actually the first in a series. This being the introductory video, I'll introduce you to the guitars that I'm going to be using for the experiments throughout the series. Uh, I'll detail some of the experiments that I'm going to be doing and some of the equipment that I'll be using to gather information. Also, in a later video, I want to provide information on some independent research that's been done. Some is applicable directly to the electric guitar and some of it is applicable to uh, the acoustic properties of wood. Also I want to discuss the other variables, the other things that affect the tone of an electric guitar. Things that could make two otherwise identical looking guitars sound different. Okay, so let's introduce the guitars that I'm going to be using. First up we've got this 2009 American Deluxe Strat. This one is pretty heavy, it's about 9.1 pounds, it's an ash body, and this one's only going to be used for a couple of experiments. Next we've got this uh, Mungrel Parts Caster here. This one is a 2007 American Standard Neck with a Deluxe Player's Strat body. All Damasio pickups, their Area 61s, DP161, Steve Special, uh, lots of extra switching systems and whatnot. This one's pretty light actually, and I will provide an exact weight for it later on when I start doing the experiments. This one's going to be used a fair bit. Then we've got this baby here. This is a El Cheapo Plexiglass Strat with crazy lights. I don't know whether you can really see that in this light. This one's going to be used extensively and it weighs a ton. Uh, yeah, this is going to be doing a fair bit of uh, work as far as the experiments are concerned. Density versus acoustic transmission. Does the sound from the string actually make it into the body of the guitar and back again? And if so, does the density of the wood affect that pathway? Does an electric guitar's pickups really only pick up the vibrations of the strings? Or are there other things that are going on that that the pickups are actually picking up. Well, this is what we'll find out with this experiment. Also, I'm going to do an experiment where we test the frequency response of the output from two different body materials with everything otherwise being identical. And also, I want to do a blind AB test so we can test those two different materials. And that's where your help comes in. I'll need your ears to try and decipher and tell me which is which. So I hope you can stick around and join me on this journey to find out does wood really affect electric guitar tone. And if you have any suggestions for, for other experiments and things that you might want me to do, put them in the comments below. So at the end of the series, hopefully we draw some kind of conclusion. And with a bit of luck, the majority of us will be happy with that. Of course, there's always going to be somebody or a few that uh, is going to disagree, and you get that. That's just how it is. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, and if you're interested in this video, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you want to catch the rest of the series and some of the other stuff that I get up to, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, have a great day. I'll catch you later.